Hello everybody and welcome to Spirit Wolf's Mistweave Monk Guide. And let's start um, about talking about stats. Um, basically you're going to want crit, crit, and more crit. Even reforging out of spirit for crit. And why do we want to use crit? Well because one of the main reasons is for your um, brewing manatee. Every time you uh, you have a chance equal to your crit chance to generate double the manatee charges, which is really really good. So every time you crit, you have a chance to um, gain more and more manatee, which restores four percent of your mana per stack, and um, that's just one way that you can sort of manage your your mana consumption. And uh, so basically, you're just you're gonna want to have crit uh, for most of your gem slots and reforging. And your haste breakpoint is going to be 15.5% or 6.6 thousand uh, haste. That's the maximum breakpoint for haste. Once you reach that cap, you can start reforging out of haste into mastery. Mastery is pretty good uh, because what it does is it drops healing uh, spheres and it hears heals nearby uh, injured allies uh, for you know for a certain amount um, anytime they walk over them. So those are actually pretty good. And uh, for glyphs, what you're going to want to use is, um, I use Renewing Mist, it increases the yards uh, that it jumps to by 40, uh, to 40 yards it's rather than 20, which is actually really nice, I find it helpful, um, you know, while raiding, because sometimes people tend to stand pretty far from the raid, and uh, it, it's, your, your Renewing Mists are able to actually reach them, so that's a really good one. I also use Glyph of tar Targeted Expulsion, and what that does is it allows you to cast your Expel Harm, which previously was only a self-cast um, only, so it would only heal you, uh, to now you're able to cast it on other people. So it's actually a pretty good, quick, um, instant, cheap heal, so I highly recommend it. If you don't use this, I was actually using Manatee, uh, Glyph of Manatee before, so what it does is it, uh, you know, instantly consumes two stacks of your manatee, um, but it causes a 10 second cooldown. So with this you can have instant manatee, but um, there's a cooldown now, so that's the only difference. But I like it because um, even though it reduces the healing by 50% on an additional, on any other target other than yourself, it's still a really quick, cheap, fast heal. So. Next one I use is Glyph of Enduring Healing Spheres. This is actually really, really good because your healing spheres, um, which you can put on the ground, target anywhere, um, every time somebody walks over them, it heals them. So these are these are just really nice to have um, because, you know, if this were the boss and you have melee behind the boss, <coughs> kind of near the statue or whatever, and you expect, you know, people to be moving around, you can pre-position your orbs, you know, right where people are going to be standing. Um, you know, or if you know they're gonna, they have to get to a certain direction, you can kind of line them up for people to walk through them. So those are always really good. Your minor glyphs, um, obviously, you can pick, you know, whatever you want. So, and then as far as talents are concerned, you're gonna want to pick up celerity. And the reason why you're gonna want celerity is because you're also gonna be picking up cheat torpedo, which um, I highly recommend over rushing jade wind, um, just because. I, I like to have the the movement of this as well as being able to sort of control where I where I go and which direction I heal, etc. Uh, Rushing Jade Wind basically throws out a tornado in front of you, so it's another kind of one of those spells where you have to, you know, it's directional and you have to sort of set it up a little bit. So I prefer getting Chi Burst. Next here, um, you can you can pick either um, Ascension or Chi Brew. I personally go with Chi Brew because every time you hit that, it's got two charges. You instantly gain two Chi that you can use and two Manatee. So it's just a really good cooldown to have that you can use to, you know, if you need to start casting heals um, and you need two Chi, or you also need, you know, let's say you're low on mana and you need you know, two stacks of, of manatee, you can also do that. So it's just a, it's a better use of, 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 um, you know, I think of your, of your, of your chi and also, um, your manatee too. So, because this just increases your chi by one and your maximum mana and your energy regen, which, um, you know, 
eh, it's it's not that great. This is a little bit more, I find, easier to sort of throw in the mix, and it's, it's a little bit easier to use. This here, you can pick whatever you want. Um, I, take, I tend to go with Ring of Peace, just because I like to be able to throw it on somebody who's getting pounded by, say, a melee. Um, you know, a good example is Nazgrim. If uh, there's somebody who's getting targeted by the um, the assassin, I can throw a ring of peace on him and it will disarm him. Disarm the assassin. So I just find it a little bit, you know, more fun to use. Leg sleep, leg sweep might be another option if you're, um, you know, if you remember to use it, basically. <laughs> but other than that, I tend to go with ring of peace. Uh, next here, I definitely and highly recommend Diffuse Magic because it reduces all spell damage taken by 90%, which is huge, and it also clears all magical effects on you, and it, it's just, it's a really, really, really good cooldown, and I use it actually quite often and all the time, so I highly recommend getting Diffuse Magic. Next, as we said before, Chi Torpedo. Um, again, I just, I highly recommend Chi Torpedo. It's just a little bit easier to use, and um, it's free, it's it's free healing um, with three charges because you'll get celerity. So what this does, Chi Torpedo will replace your roll, and you get three charges of um, Chi Torpedo. And uh, again, it's just, it's really good. Good, good free healing. Okay, so that's the talents, um, the glyphs, and uh, you know, the spec and priority. Um, again, you definitely want crit. So we'll go over the rotation a little bit. What you're going to want to use as a Mistweave Monk is your uh, Renewing Mist, and you're going to want to use this on as many, uh, pretty much on cooldown. So every time it's on cooldown, you're going to want to use your, your Renewing Mist, and you also want to use your Expel Harm on cooldown as well. And uh, your biggest cooldowns, so if the raid, the entire raid is taking a lot of damage very quickly, you're going to want to use Revival. Revival is our biggest healing cooldown. It's, it's like Tranquility, except we don't have to channel it. It's instant cast, and it heals all the, uh, the entire party and or raid um, members within 100 yards for a lot of healing. So this is basically our biggest healing cooldown that we have. You're also going to want to make sure that you place your um, Jade Serpent statue, which is this here. You can, uh, you know, place it wherever you want. I tend to sort of place it, uh, you know, so if this is the boss and, you know, I expect melee here and sort of, you know, ranged back here, I'll kind of stick it somewhat out of the way just to, you know, so people aren't, you know, I don't know, so it's not so much of a distraction, but it doesn't really matter where you place it, that's just my personal preference. Um, but what it does is it will heal, uh, you know, the target lowest um, to the statue, and um, yeah, so that's what that does. It's really, really good healing. And so once you got your re your renewing mist out, you're using your expel harm, renewing mist. When people are stacked, you're gonna want to use chi burst. Make sure that you're behind the group or try to get you know within distance of you know a group of people. Um, so if you have a group of people here, you're gonna want to you know sort of situate yourself maybe this way or um, you know this way so you get like ranged and melee. At the same time, that's how I utilize that spell. If a tank is tanking, uh, taking a lot of damage, your uh, your cooldown for them is called Life Cocoon, and what it does is it uh, basically puts a bubble around the target and absorbs a lot of healing, or pardon me, absorbs a lot of damage, increases all periodic healing done to them. So that's pretty much your, you know, like your bark skin or your, um, you know, basically any sort of big cooldown that you would have. Uh, that's what you want to use if somebody's about to die or you know you can anticipate a lot of incoming damage on the tank. Uh, that's what you're going to want to use. Uh, so in essence um, that's pretty much uh, your rotation. So Soothing Mist, you're just going to want a Soothing Mist, uh, Rejuve on cooldown, Expel Harm on cooldown, um, you know Chi Burst on cooldown, Soothing Mist. I use Surging Mist on people that sort of need a quick heal, so um, anytime you use your Soothing Mist on a target, if somebody you know really needs some heals, fast heals, then you just hit Soothing Mist. Uh, once you have your Renewing Mist, which is your um, heal that kind of jumps to different targets, uh, it's, a, it's a hot basically, you're going to want to use Uplift. So, you know, obviously the more targets you have rejuvenating, uh, renewing mists on the more uh, healing you're going to do. And uh, we also have another 
spell in our arsenal called um, Thunder Focus T. And what that does is it um, doubling it doubles the healing done by your next surging mist or causes your next uplift to refresh the duration of your renewing mist on all targets. So I use this um, thundering focus tea with uplift because what that does is I can typically get renewing mists on almost all the tar uh, party or, or uh, like 10 man raid raiders entire you know the entire raid with renewing mist and then I'll cast thundering focus T and then hit uplift that refreshes all the uh, renewing mists and then um, you know it, it's pretty much means that everybody in the in the raid has a hot on them and um, then you once you hit uplift it heals everybody so it's just a really really good AoE healing ability so again you know surging mi uh, sorry, excuse me soothing mist surging mist if they really need a heal renewing mist on cooldown expel harm on cooldown, chi burst on cooldown as long as you're, you know, behind uh, a big group of people, uplift as much as it's up, and then, you know, you can use your mana tea whenever you need mana. Uh, thundering focus brew, again I use that with, with uplift as well, that increases um, the, the amount of people that can have it. Uh, it refreshes renewing this. And that's pretty much it. That's monk healing in uh, a nutshell. And uh, that's pretty much just going over our, the simple rotation. And what I might do is actually get into a group and um, sort of show show you some monk healing in action. Oh yeah, and, and also don't forget your 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 chi torpedo because that's free healing, and it's awesome. So, all right, hope this helps, and I will post up another video soon of um, monk healing in action.